Hello everybody, it's Tinder back in another video. It was a long time ago, my transfers all around the world. I've been really busy and I'm still busy, but I just I have actually thought about doing this video a long time ago, but I just haven't had time. I just have some time here and I thought to myself, I will do a video and share my thoughts about this topic because I have had this kind of a debate, analysis, talk, you name it, baby. That where people has come into my videos in the past and said, you are crediting Nadal, you are talking so great things about Nadal and his, and his Astral Open results. Djokovic is not that bad from Nadal at Astral Open. Djokovic is actually close to Nadal in Astral Open, what, Djok uh, what Nadal is at French Open. This is kind of a topics I've actually had with some tennis commentators of both in my videos and other videos as well and this video is about to tell to those guys and to all of, all of you others who has that kind of a same opinions that Novak Djokovic is not as near as good at Astral Open as Nadal is at French Open baby what Nadal has done at French Open, what Nadal's results at French Open, Nadal's superior achievements at French Open is not Djokovic, is no one has ever come close to that kind of achievements. All credit to Djokovic at, at Astral Open. He has done a tremendous good job in winning 10 Astral Opens. Djokovic is extremely satisfied with his achievements at Astral Open. My dear friends, my dear friends all around the world, my tennis friends all around the world, to win a Grand Slam tournament double digit like Djokovic has done at Astral Open 10 times is unbelievable achievement. Unbelievable. It is not how many male players has won a Grand Slam tournament double digit. Only two, only two. The one, the first one who did it was Nadal. Of course, he has won the, the French Open bloody freaking times, 14 times. So that is, of course, double digit. And the other one, and the, the only the other one after Nadal who has won a Grand Slam tournament on the male side I'm talking about, it is Djokovic with 10 Astral Open titles. These, all, these two are the only two male players in the tennis history that has won Grand Slams double digit. Nadal with 14 at French Open, Djokovic with 10 at the Astral Open. The other, the third player was who who has won a lot of tournaments, the same kind of a tournaments, uh, Grand Slams I'm talking about, but never won a double digit, is Federer with eight Wimbledon titles. So, what does this, what does this show us? This shows us that it is unbelievably difficult winning the biggest tournament in tennis, which of course is Grand Slams, ten or more times. Unbelievable difficult. So, Djokovic winning 10 Astral Opens, he is really, really satisfied. I believe that his fans are that as well. It was never a question about Djokovic being as good at Astral Open as Nadal is at French Open. He's not even close, baby. Or should I, or should I tell you the win-loss record? Nadal, 112 wins at Astral Open. I'm sorry, at French Open and only three losses and those three losses it is two of those losses is the same dude and who is that dude it is the greatest tennis player of all time Novak Djokovic Nadal has lost two out of his three French Open defeats against same dude which is Novak Djokovic who's who is the greatest tennis player of all time it is not any shame losing against that kind of a beast and the other player that Nadal has lost against is Robin Söderling. These are the only three losses that Nadal has had at, at, at French Open, which I am pretty convi convinced that you, all, the, all of you guys know. And two of them 
all against the same player. Djokovic, and not to forget that Nadal has... Uh, and we should not forget that uh, Djok uh, Nadal has never lost at, at French Open earlier than fourth round. His earlier exist, his earlier defeat at French Open has come as in the fourth round, which was at, against Robin Sudden back in 2009. Uh, the other two defeats are in the quarterfinal against Djokovic in 2015, 2015. And the, his third defeat uh, was uh, against Djokovic, of course, uh, in 2021 in a semi-final. So, if you look at Novak, how is, how is his win-loss record at Astral Open? 94-9. Novak has won 94 matches at, at Astral Open and lost 9 times. And two of those uh, uh, losses from Novak at Astral Open has came in first rounds. Uh, 2005, where he played his first ever Grand Slam tournament, Novak Djokovic against Marat Safin, where he got a beat down, 6 love, 6 Six two six one. He got only three games against Marat Safin in that 2005 Astral Open edition, uh, when Novak was very very young. He was only 17 years old. So he got a beat down in when Novak played his first ever Astral Open. Compared to Nadal, who played his first ever French Open the same year 2005. Of course, he was two years. Uh, he was uh, he is one year older than Djokovic. Uh, Nadal. Uh, so Nadal started that uh, uh, started that tournament as 18 years old, but finished the tournament as 19 years old. Nadal in 2009. Oh, I'm sorry, in 2005, uh, because Nadal is born in June, like we all know. Uh, big difference compared to Djokovic. Nadal, of course, didn't get the lose in the first round let alone getting a beatdown, he won the French Open in his first ever appearance back in 2005. If you look to the six, Djokovic lost again at Asil Open in the first round. So no, no one Djokovic's first two appearances at Asil Open, he loses the first round. Against Marat Safin, in the first, it was a five against Marat Safin, all right. No shame in losing at Safin in that 2005 edition from Novak Djokovic. Because not, uh, Safin went on to win the, in th the entire freaking tournament two weeks later. In the 2006 edition, Djokovic lost against a nobody, which I don't even remember the name, but I believe he was an American dude that Djokovic lost in the 2006 Aslo Open edition in the first round. Uh, a player that. Uh, it is, he's not famous at all, I don't remember the name, we can, you guys can uh, look it up on Google. Uh, but I believe he was an American dude, if I'm not mistaken. He lost against a player like that. And I believe that to that dude never won a tournament in his entire career. I believe so. Maybe I'm wrong. Down co correct me down below if I'm wrong. But I don't, I, don't, I, not, I don't believe that American dude ever won a ATP Tour title. Ever. And Djokovic lost against that kind of player in 2006 as well open. In the first round. So... And in his third appearance in 2007, Djokovic lost against Roger Federer in the fourth round, the straight sets. As the open I'm talking about now, no shame in losing against Federer because Federer went on to win that tournament later on, which he also, which by the way, Federer won that 2007 As open edition without dropping one single set. Uh, so, Djokovic won As open in his fourth appearance, which was in 2008, when he won his first ever Grand Slam title as 20 years old, Novak Djokovic, and he won that, and he won his first ever as, uh, Grand Slam title at Astral Open in 2008. Compared to Nadal, Nadal in 2008 he won his fourth Astral Open. Nadal appearance, Nadal played the 2008 French Open for the fourth time, five, six, seven, and the, the 2008, Nadal played the French Open for the fourth time, and he won the French Open for the fourth consecutive year.
took him five, six, seven, eight. Compared with Djokovic, who won his first ever Astral Open title in 2008 in his fourth appearance. In his fourth attempt. So, saying that Djokovic is near Nadal at Astral Open, like Nadal is at French Open, is completely wrong, my tennis fans all around the world. And if not, if that was not enough, that Djokovic has lost early in, in 2005 and 2006, both of those two defeats came in the first round. Djokovic has lost also in the second round uh, at Astral Open back in 2017. Uh, his earliest exist, his earlier defeat at Astral Open uh, uh, outside of his first two losses, uh, 2005 and 2006, first rounds, was against Dennis Istomin in 2017 Astral Open edition. Uh, second round, Djokovic lost there. So, how can, how can Novak be close to Nadal at Astral Open, what Nadal is at French Open? This is just wishful thinking from some Novak Djokovic fans. Because this is not true at all. Uh, and Novak, of course, knows it. And Novak knows he will never win 14 French Opens, uh, 14 Astral Opens. Novak is, is really, really happy that he has won Astral Open double digit 10 times in the first place. He's really, really happy because he only just doing that is extremely difficult. Like I demonstrated early in, the, in this video where only two male players ever has won a Grand Slam tournament double digit, which is Nadal with, with French Open 14 times and which is Djokovic with Astral Open 10 times. That shows to us how difficult this task is. Just my tennis was on a row. Just winning tournaments in tennis double digit, it is extremely difficult. Forget the status of a tournament. 250, 500, Masters, Grand Slams. Forget it. It just doing that alone, winning a tennis tournament, double digit, time, double digit, 10 times or more, is extremely, extremely difficult. Nadal has done it four times in his career. Of course, all of those four times is on, on clay. No surprise there. He has won Grand, uh, French Open 14 times. He has won Monte Carlo 11 times. He has won... Barcelona 12 times and he has won Rome 10 times. So Nadal has won one Grand Slam tournament, the biggest te tennis tournament that we have in tennis 14 times, and then two Masters he has won double digit times. Monte Carlo 11 times, Rome 10 times. And a, a 500 class tournament, which is Barcelona 12 times. Bloody freaking impressive from Nadal. That's why Nadal is un without any shadow of a doubt, the greatest clay court player of all time. I, ne I really don't believe we will ever see the a player of Nadal's magnitude on clay ever in our lifetime. Ever. Or ever again. Even in other human beings' lifetimes. Look at just one player like Roger Federer, who is one of the greatest tennis players of all time, behind Djokovic and Nadal, according to me. Uh, he has won two tournaments double digit. Neither of those tournaments are Grand Slams, of course, or even a Masters. Both of them are 500 class tournaments. He has won Halle 10 times, Roger Federer, and he has won Basel 10 times, Roger Federer. And both of them, both of those tournaments are 500 class tournaments. You can, a player of Federer's magnitude never won a big tournament like Masters double digit, let alone him winning Grand Slam double digit. The closest he came to doing win a Grand Slam 10 times or more, Federer was, like I said earlier in the video, Wimbledon with 8 times. Djokovic has won only one tournament double digit, which is Vastel Open 10 times. He has never won, he has not won any other tournament double digit, Novak Djokovic, but he has won the Russell Open 10 times, which is much bigger than Federer's two title, two tournaments where he's won double digit, uh, which is Halle and Basel. Uh, so Novak's one tournament winning 10 times is much bigger than Federer's 
two tournaments within 10 times because of obvious reasons, Asel Open is a much, much bigger tournament than what Halle and Basel is. So, what my point is, my transfers on the road is that winning tennis tournaments double digit is extremely difficult. No matter if they are 250 class tournaments, 500 class tournaments, Masters or Grand Slams. But winning Grand Slams which is the biggest tennis tournament that we have in tennis, it's just undescribable difficult. Undescribable. Just take, just take a player like Nadal. All right? If Nadal just was normal, not, not normal, above normal, because normal is, is bad English words to, 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 to uh, choose here, I believe. He, he, if he was just over normal, over normal, if he had just won a French Open, we say, Nadal 10 times, all right? Which is unbelievable uh, achievement to do. To win a Grand Slam tournament 10 times, which I have described in this video, is unbelievable difficult. We can, uh, it, it is so difficult doing. Only two players ever winning a Grand Slam tournament on the male side double digit times. Nadal and Djokovic. So if Nadal had, he, he would have won French Open less times, say he had won it 10 times, he freaking would have not even had 20 plus Grand Slam titles in his career. He would have not had it. He would have had 18 Grand Slam titles in his career, Nadal. 18, at the current moment he has 22. Take out four of Nadal's French Open titles. We just, we, we are just, Pretending here now. We take out four of Nadal's four, 14 grand, uh, French Open titles that Nadal has. He would have been at 10 French Opens. He would have been as eight, he would have been 18 Grand Slam champion. And not 22 Grand Slam champion like he is now. But Nadal is so unnormal. He's so superior. Is so unbelievable, is so impeccable on this surface called clay that he, that he has gone on to win not only 10 French Opens, not only 11 French Opens, not only 12 French Opens, not only 30 French Opens, he has gone on to win bloody freaking 14 French Opens. And do you know what the, what the scary part of this is? We are not sure that he has won his last. I personally believe he has won his last French Open. I've done a video about this last year when I did a prediction video. I said that has Nadal won his last Grand Slam title? I said yes. Because he's done and dusted in the other three Grand Slams, Slope and Wimbledon and US Open. We all pro probably agree about that. But he's not done and dusted at French Open. You can never count him out at French Open. You can never count out the greatest clay court player of all time, you can never count out the 14 times French Open champion Rafael Nadal, even though he's not in his peak of his career, even though he's old, he will be 38 years old later this year, you can never count out that kind of a beast on that surface. And that is a scary part, he can win one more. If he's healthy later this year, he can win the French Open for the, four, for the 15th time and I will not be surprised. But I'm not predicting him to do that. I'm not. So, if Nadal would have been just... He, he would have been just as good at French Open, like Na Djokovic as, is as good at Astral Open, he would have never been the second best tennis player of all time. He would never have been like he is at the current moment, according to me, with 22 Grand Slam titles. That title the second best grand, uh, tennis player of all time would have gone to Roger Federer instead. But Nadal is so unbelievable on this, on this surface called clay that he has gone on to win 14 French Opens. Uh, that, is, um, that is unbelievable stuff. The only, the only in common that Nadal and Djokovic have, has, have at the current moment that both of them, when they have played the, the finals at French Open, Nadal in, the, in his case, and Djokovic, the finals at Aston Open, in his case, they have never lost a match there. Nadal with 14 French Open finals, never lost one match there. Djokovic with 10 
also looked on finals, never lost on match there. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, see you next time, peace!